Bionic Gloves presents the Hands-On Golf Podcast, bringing anatomy and hand function to the forefront of glove design to improve comfort, fit, and performance. Bionic is a division of Hilrick and Bradsby Company, makers of Louisville Slugger bats and ball gloves. Bionic gloves are the only gloves designed by a leading orthopedic hand surgeon, Dr. Jim Kleinert. Welcome everyone to this edition of the Bonnie Gloves Hands-On Golf Podcast. My name is Chaz Ra. I'm your host and I'm back again to create another podcast just for you. And you, and wait, move over. Yeah, you, well, you know who you are. So let's get right into the email. This one comes in from Ben and from September. And they want to know about how to hit with a hybrid. Should I hit it like an iron? Should I hit it like a wood? Help. Well. The, this is a great question because you know there's a lot of hybrids out there now and people aren't really sure what to do with it. So we're going to speak with PGA Pro Barry Bonifield on the proper way to use a hybrid club. So thank you very much Ben and September and just for your all's uh, email that we use in this podcast you're going to get the Bionic Glove. Now if you'd like to participate in this podcast please send an email to podcast at bionicgloves.com and if we use it we will send you one as well. Now remember, when you submit your question, please include your full name, full mailing address, whether you are right or left-handed, and what size you are. You do all that, boom, we use your email in the podcast, boom, we will send you the glove. That easy. So, thank you all very much. Please tell all your buddies about the podcast. Go to bonnetgloves.com. There's lots of different gloves that they have that you could buy for people who do gardening, fitness, golf. It's, it's a wonderful place to go, and it's a, it's a great product. So thank you all very much, and let's go talk to Barry on how to hit with the prior hybrid in this edition of the Bonnie Gloves Hands-On Golf Podcast. Mr. Barry Bonifield. Chaz, how are you? Doing great. You know, I noticed that you've got a hybrid right there, and it just so happens our podcast question is about a hybrid, and it comes in from September and from Ben, and they basically want to know how should they hit their hybrid? Should they hit it like an iron? Should they hit it like a wood? You know, can you give us that answer? Because I, I don't know. Sure. What a great question. Thank you, September and Ben. You know, hybrids have become one of the hot things in golf, and it's become just a tremendous innovation. And so many of us who have played golf for so long have struggled with hitting the long irons. More talented players are able to hit the two and three and four irons, but for the everyday golfer, the long irons have been a, a battle from the get-go. So the hybrids have become just so much easier to hit and so much more user-friendly. And let me, let me explain to you why. First of all, the way they're built, you can see that they're, they're right in between an iron and a wood. They're smaller than a, a wood, which are certainly now made of metal and titanium, but they're larger than an iron. And the reason being is that the the weight distribution in these new hybrids is placed all down at the bottom and further back in the club head. All of that to say it's sole weighted and helps the golf ball get up off the ground much much easier than a very skinny and uh, mass deficient long iron. So that's why it doesn't take much. If you put the club face on the golf ball in a reasonable manner, this golf ball will go up. But now to answer your question more fully, do I hit it like a wood or do I hit it like an iron? It's a pretty easy question to answer and that's because this is more of an iron than it is a wood. The length of this club is much more reminiscent of a long iron than it is of a wood. A driver now is 45 or 6 inches long with a gigantic head and this club in this case is a 2 iron or a 2 hybrid um, will be much shorter than that and uh, probably 37 and a half, 38 inches and much, uh, I'm much closer to the golf ball than I am with a driver or with a 3 wood. Because of that, I typically will play my hybrid in this case just as I would an iron of the same number. So this iron is going to be placed uh, right off of my left heel or slightly inside to the right of my left heel as a right-handed player. And let me show you what I mean. I'm going to step up to this golf ball and the first thing I always do is place my club beside the ball because I want to aim that club face at my target. I never aim my feet at the target 
unless I'm going to kick the ball. But if I'm going to hit it with this club, I always aim the club face. And so when I do, first I set the club face right beside the golf ball, and then I take my stance. Now I'm, I've got this ball right now with two parallel lines this way. I've got this ball even just behind my left heel. So with my driver, my three wood, I'd have the ball even with about my left heel in my stance. This is just to the right, about two inches off my left heel. And that's where I'm gonna play that. From there, I just swing this like I would any other iron. Now one further point with, with a hybrid golf club, because it's so sole weighted, when I have this golf club, I can hold this club and this sole of this golf club is built to ride through the turf. That's very important because I can aggressively hit this golf ball and know that it's not going to stick in the ground. The only mistake I can really make with this club is to pull up and away from the ball. I want to be sure I stay in my original amount of bend so I can rotate around that bend but I don't get taller as I swing, okay? Let me demonstrate that for you. I'll hit a shot for you, and I'm just gonna play this like I would any two, three, or four iron shot, and I'll just, I'll hit one out there for you, okay? So I'm gonna aim the club face, play the ball just behind my left heel, and then just swing like I would a, an, an iron. The beauty of the hybrids is that the ball goes up so easily. Now let me add one short caveat to this. A hybrid is built to hit the ball up in the air easily. We had a, an additional point to one of the questions that asked, is there an instance where I may need one of the original two, three, or four irons instead of a hybrid? And that would be in a situation where you have to hit the ball low that's where that's the one situation one of those other clubs could help you a little bit more because this ball is going up in the air with this i hope that helps you for any further discussion on it be sure to consult your pga golf professional thank you very much